What's your name? My name is Nelia. So, first question, where were you born and raised? I was born in Ukraine, city Khmelnytsky. So what did your family do for a living? My mother was a hairdresser and my father was an engineer. So was your family well off, poor or middle class? My family was considering well off because the field that my mother was in it was kind of popular. Um, hairs, uh, the hairdresser was very popular uh, profession there because everybody wanted to look good and it was very important. Russian people actually always have makeup on and hair is done. So uh, she did pretty good because she was one of the best. My father was an engineer and as well he was a, a big supplier for the city. So connections was very important. That's why uh, we did pretty good. We were, um, I guess, well off. What was your plan and our goal in America at first? Well, we had two reasons to leave the country. First of all, uh, we're, we're, we're Jewish. So at that time, uh, most of the people didn't like us and they want us to leave. That was the first reason we wanted to uh, immigrate. And second of all, we had our family here and we had a very big family and we got separated because of the immigration and politics. So that was the reasons why we wanted to go. Um, when we came here, well, the first goal, of course, is to learn English, to understand the culture and achieve because uh, in the past, you couldn't grow because it was under government, everything. And here you have all the freedom and you can, you know, literally, sky is the limit. You can reach any goal. So learning English uh, and becoming, you know, stable, have a house, have kids, and raise a good family. How was the immigration process? Immigration process was very interesting. We had to immigrate from Ukraine to Austria. We had to stay there for like a month and a half, and then we had to go through Italy and live there for two months until Jewish community helped us to get to the United States. It was very shocking because it's a different culture, different everything, but interesting. How did you find your friends? I went to Hebrew Academy where most of the Russian immigrants were there. So I met friends there and then high school, Washington High School. And we had a small community. So we were hanging out with all the Russians because we did not speak English. How important was education for your family? For our family, education is the most important. So um, I wanted to make sure that my kids went to good schools and finished college. Since I couldn't do that because I came here at 16 and I wanted to go to work to help my parents out. And how did you see different types of education when you came to America? I didn't know the difference. I did not speak any English at all at that time. How has living in the United States shifted your point of view of your homeland? And do you still associate with people from your ethnic group? Um, the difference is quite a bit of difference. First of all, Russia has changed and it's not Russia anymore. It's mainly Ukraine. Now it's its own country. So it's very different. Do I hang out with my, with Russian people, yes, because I still believe that I'm Russian and our language, our culture still stay with us and we like to listen to our music and, you know, enjoy our food. But of course, we also have other friends, you know, American friends that we enjoy it as much.
How did you feel about different religions you encountered when you first arrived in the United States versus how you feel now? Well, first of all, with the way I grew up, there was no religious allowed. So you couldn't go to church, you couldn't pray to God, you couldn't go to temple, and you couldn't believe in God. So the, my first impression was when we arrived to Austria and my first trip to synagogue, um, I felt, of course, amazed, you know, how people believe in God. And nowadays, I accept all the religious. I respect everyone because I believe there is one God and just different little beliefs. Um, what is one thing that you do miss about your homeland? Or what is one thing, one thing you do not miss? I miss my childhood friends. What do you not miss? What I don't miss? Actually, it was pretty good. It was a great childhood. I think because we had really good friends, sincere friends. We had fun. You know, we had a lot of activities after school. Uh, Soviet Union for kids was very good because you always had to have activities, participate in a lot of things, had different uh, camps. So it was a lot of fun for kids. I think as far as Soviet Union, my childhood, I... I miss it, I miss my friends, but future life, I'm very thankful that I'm in America. How do you maintain a sense of identity and your cultural roots while living in a foreign country? First of all, we speak Russian at home. I want to make sure that my kids understand and speak Russian. We still cook Russian food. We still go to dance to Russian restaurants where there's Russian music and most of our friends are Russian. Do you consider yourself an American? I consider myself an American but inside and in my heart I'm still I'm always gonna be Russian.